sometimes people show vulnerability and a lot of people see that as a sign of weakness. It's the greatest strength you can ever have. As some of you may know, the work of Brené Brown is, she's a hero to me. She talks about being vulnerable as being the only way that you can be courageous and brave and step out into the wilderness. And people say, oh well, I'll be brave first and then I'll look at being vulnerable. And it doesn't work in that step factor. Most of you know and have seen that I operate with emotion and a position of vulnerability, admitting when I was wrong, when I've been an asshole, when my ego gets in the way. And in those times of vulnerability have been the times that people have been really aware of the strength that not just me, but people around me show in supporting that. The uh, one quote the Theodore Roosevelt, which was a, a beacon of light for Brene Brown when people were attacking her all over the internet and she became shameful. And so shameful is about being in a room where someone says something to you or you do something and you leave that room and you never want to go back into that room again. That is shame. And the only way to break through shame is vulnerability. So, Brene Brown was sitting at home, people telling her she was fat and ugly, and she started researching on the internet about the time of when that quote went through from Theodore Roosevelt. It's a very long quote, but essentially the quote is around the man in the arena and it says that, how dare you, basically, how dare you make comment? How dare you throw your opinion at me while you're up in the stands? And I am down here in the arena with a bunch of other people. And we know down here in the arena what it's like to have mud and sweat and tears and blood on our faces. So whilst you're up in the arena criticizing and telling me that I can't do a good thing, I won't listen to you. I'm not, I'm, I'm not interested in talking to the critic or listening to the critic. Ultimately, come down, stand next to me in the arena like these two are here and now I'll start listening to you. Don't listen to the critics. Simply run your own race and take feedback from those people alongside you who have the mud, sweat, tears and blood on their face. <laughs>